Hi, my name's Nick Adams. I'm the North American Microsoft Champion for Alltech, and I was going to speak to you for a couple of minutes on moldy silage syndrome. What is moldy silage syndrome? It's the phenomenon we see in cows, uh, particularly this focus on dairy cows, where we feed silage to cows that has molded. Uh, and we see this very often on farms. We, we walk up to the silage bunk, the silage clamp, and we see molds growing in the silage. And for quite some time now, we've tried to understand, well, what does this all mean? And we've tried to pull out what mycotoxins might be there. And we haven't been th that successful commercially. We've tried to find mycotoxins like vomitoxin. Vomitoxin traditionally comes from the field, and we can measure that mycotoxin. However, what we've seen recently is that when we understand what types of mold are in that silage, it gives us a better understanding of what types, what types of mycotoxins are in that silage. And so when we look in that silage and we see lots of penicillium molds, we can now understand that the penicillium mycotoxins that they produce are likely the ones that are affecting our cows. Penicillium molds thrive well in silage. They like low levels of oxygen and they can tolerate low pH. And so that's a great silage environment. And so when it comes to silage, penicillium molds are the molds that dominate. And so what that means for us is that when it comes to feeding the cow, those are the toxins that we've got to consider. Penicillium toxins are going to affect the cow in, in a number of different ways, but as per the, the antibiotic penicillin, which is produced by a penicillin mold, they have an antibiotic type nature. And so we're obviously feeding these to a rumen, which we're trying to thrive and grow microbial protein in. So therefore, the, the rumen platform and things thereafter are affected by penicillium mycotoxins. So we're going to look at rumen health, we're going to look at liver health, we're going to look at the overall health of the cow. Uh, recent work that was done in the Netherlands looked at moldy silage syndrome. And the idea of this was to identify biomarkers, so things within the cow that we could measure, to try and identify the level of challenge the cow was under. And also then to look at whether mycosorb as a patented mycotoxin binder could alleviate those effects. And what was seen was that there were a number of different parameters affected within the cow when moldy silage was fed when compared to healthy cows. And so we looked at things like antioxidant status as a measure of the immune system. We looked at liver health. And ultimately what we saw was, yeah, there were a lot of things that were affected and a good deal of those mycosorb then could alleviate and over an eight-week period, return those normals, return those parameters to what we would see in a, a normal healthy cow. What does that mean for the farmer at the end of the day? Well, what it meant for the three farmers that looked at uh, this during this study was that they saw more milk in the tank because of the healthier cows, and they saw a reduction in the somatic cell count. Ultimately, for these farms, they saw a return on investment of about 14 to 1, showing that moldy silage syndrome is something that affects cow health and performance, and that mycosorb as a patented mycotoxin binder can help alleviate those effects and give real life return on investment to the producer.